Okay, everyone, I'm going to go ahead and uh, read it to order. Before I do the prelude, I want to ask everyone to pause for a moment of silence. Thank you. Again, our board meeting is under the provisions of, of the executive order number 16. And folks, uh, we done electronically in this meeting is necessary to protect uh, public health, safety and welfare in light of COVID-19. And that any board meeting scheduled during the effective date of the order will be held electronically. Uh, that should be noted in our minutes. In addition to that, we actually will actually uh, have approvals with that order. In addition to uh, the approval to suspend the board policies 1.400 uh, through 1.407. We are practicing social distancing and as a prerequisite uh, of that order, we must have uh, the public involved through streaming. We thank JEA in West Tennessee for assisting us with that process. Next, I want to make sure that everybody's uh, is on uh, with the board's vote. A call, please. Kevin Alexander. I hear. Wayne Arnold. Wayne. Doris Black. Here. Jim Campbell. Jim Campbell. Carol Carter, Estes, Mike Wright. Carol. No, she's here. She's in the building. Janice Hampton. Present. AJ Massey. Here. Shannon Stewart. Here. Thank you. Let me go back. Wayne Arnold, are you on? Yes, I'm here. Thanks, Wayne. Jim I'm Campbell. here, Pete. Okay, thank you. Jim Campbell, are you on? Yes, I am. Thank you. Uh, with that, next on our agenda approvals. This first approval we have to uh, approve through um, board action of a vote. It is approved uh, of the Jackson Massey County School System, System Board to meet under the provisions of Executive Board Number 16. The board will vote uh, that the electronic meeting is necessary to protect public health, safety, and welfare in light of COVID-19, COVID-19, and that any board meeting scheduled during the effective date of the order will be held electronically. So I'll need a motion to approve so that. Move, Mr. Chairman. You know, a motion by Carol Carter is my right. Second. Second, Janice Hampton. Any questions? All in uh, uh, voice vote, uh, Kevin Alexander. Yes. Wayne Arnold. Yes. Doris Black. Yes. Jim Campbell. Yes. Carol Carter. Yes. Dennis Hampton. Yes. AJ Massey. Yes. Shannon Stewart. Yes. Thank you. Next approval. Uh, for what we, we need to vote to expand board policies 1.400 and 1.407 to the extent that the policies are inconsistent with the executive order with the suspension to continue until the expiration of the executive order. Next, we get the motion. So moved. Second. The motion was by Wayne Arnold. Second by Doris Black. All in favor of the board's vote, Kevin. 
Yes. Wayne? Yes. Doris? Yes. Jim? Yes. Carol? Yes. Dennis? Yes. AJ? Yes. AJ? Shannon? Yes. Thank you. Uh, next, uh, approval, is, approval of the constant agenda. The motion. I move so, to approve the constant agenda. Uh, Kevin? Wayne made the motion, Wayne, I'll second it. Wayne and Kevin second. Thank you, thank you. Voice vote, Kevin? Yes. Wayne? Yes. Congress? Yes. Jim? Yes. Carol? Yes. Dennis? Yes. AJ? Yes. Shannon? Yes. Thank you. Next approval of April board meeting agenda. You got a motion? I make a motion. So we approve. Shannon, motion. Dollar second. That was Board's Janet. Vote. Pardon? That was Janet second. Janet second. Thank you. Okay, voice approval. Kevin? Yes. Wayne? No. Dollars? Yes. <clears throat> Wayne? We can no. Move. Wayne's no. <clears throat> Dollars? Yes. Jim? Yes. Carol? Yes. Dennis? Yes. AJ? Yes. Shannon? Yes. Thank you. Okay. This on the agenda is financial reports. We had those uh, covered in our um, work session. So if you have any questions uh, concerning those, feel free to contact uh, Holly, uh, Karen. In addition to that, um, you know, Jim is planning a uh, budget committee meeting, so that will be uh, forthcoming. Uh, next on agenda action items, uh, Jackson Master County Volunteer Recognition Awards. Each one of us see, received a packet with uh, uh, nomination by uh, the school uh, school leaders. Do we have any discussions on any uh, one that you would like to recommend? Yes, Mr. Chairman. I would like to nominate Barbara Smith from Lincoln Elementary School. Is it Barbara Smith? Yes, I believe that's her name. Yes. Okay, Barbara Smith. Is this Janice Hampton? Any other nominations? Uh, Mr. Chairman? Yes. Um, I would like to nominate uh, Mr. Barry Cooper, who was um, from the uh, Parkway Learning Center. <clears throat> I think technically he and his staff at Jacoa were both nominated. I'm sorry. I said the Parkway Learning Center, the best academy. Best academy, I'm okay. So yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, Mr. Chair, Go ahead. I'd like to nominate, I think I am pronouncing this correctly, Sayan Lamas, um, JCM Early College High. This will be the very first one. Okay, other college, huh? Okay, uh, Carol Carter, yes, please. Okay, any other nominations? So we have Lincoln, uh, Best Academy, 
And we're going to call it Chai. <coughs> okay. Let the voice vote. Kevin? Best Academy. Wayne? Barry Cooper, Best Academy. Dollars? Lincoln. Lincoln. Barbara and Smith. Jim? Early College High. Carol? Early College High. Dion Loomis. Dennis? Lincoln. AJ? Uh, Barry Cooper. Shannon? Uh, the Best Academy, Barry Cooper. Okay. Now I'll go early college high. So what's the numbers? Best Academy. Best Academy is best is five votes, so they are the winner. To be submitted. Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. I would just like to point out that I appreciate all our volunteers and to me, they're all winners. It was hard to vote just for one, but I just wanted to make the point that out. I think we all feel that way. I, I totally agree. That. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, uh, next on the agenda, approval of fees for before and after school day program. <coughs> we also discussed those uh, fees and those numbers. I think. Uh, uh, Superintendent Washington and Dr. Williams explained those uh, to us. So do we have a motion? So moved. Second. Janice. Janice motion, Kevin second. Please voice vote, Kevin. Yes. Wayne? Yes. Doris? Yes. Jim? Yes. Carol? Yes. Dennis? Yes. AJ? Yes. Dennis? Yes. Shannon? I said yes. Dennis? Yes. Okay. You good? You said yes. Go yes. Yes, yes. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, next on the agenda. Uh, special course codes for Madison, and those, uh, uh, I think it was two, two additional uh, courses that uh, were presented to us. Any questions about those? Are we ready to act on that? Could you go over the specific courses that were added? Yes, yes ma'am. Um, Madison um, have taught these in the past, but um, um, periodically we have to update it with the state. It is intermediate uh, communications <coughs> two, speech and communications two, and speech and communications three. And these are used by the students that are on the debate and forensics program. So uh, these two communications courses are, are part of a bigger program of uh, their, their debate and forensics programs. And they just have to be submitted to the state, resubmitted to the state periodically. They already teach them. I move we accept the specific uh, course codes as presented. Second. Okay, motion by Wayne. A second, was that you, Shannon? No, it's Carol. Who's that? Carol? Okay. I'm yes. Sorry. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Uh, Kevin? Yes. Wayne? Yes. Doris? Yes. Jim? Yes. Carol? Yes. Janice? Yes. AJ? Yes. Shannon? Shannon? We lose her? Yes, I'm here. My, okay. For some reason, my microphone keeps going on and off. I 
Okay. That might be for a purpose. Go, yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. And the motion is approved. Okay. Next on the agenda. Uh, selection of superintendent. With that, we have three <laughs> finalists. You remember those? <clears throat> Dr. Marlon King, Dr. Roderick Richmond, and Dr. Ron Water. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. I'd like to make a motion that we suspend this search until a future time when it's more appropriate. Second. Uh, well, well, actually, I, that I don't believe that can happen because we've already approved the agenda. And we've approved number E on action items. We've approved for this selection of a superintendent. That's correct. Yep. And that, yeah, that's not on the. <clears throat> okay. I, I seem to remember the past two years, there have been many motions that weren't on the agenda that were uh, entertained. And I'd like this to be as well. I move we suspend the rules to uh, have that removed. Second. Good job, Mr. Arnold. Uh, we have to have uh, what three quarters uh, vote to suspend the rules. Is that correct? Two thirds. I believe that's two -thirds. Uh, yes. Yeah, we have two thirds. Two thirds to be you at six. Okay. So we're going to need a motion to suspend the rules. We have uh, we need two thirds votes, which is six. Uh, Kevin, no. Wayne, yes. Doris, no. Jim, yes. Carol, no. Janice, no. AJ, yes. Shannon, no. I vote no. Okay, with the uh, with that, let's move with the selection of superintendent. Uh, of course, with all of our votes uh, tonight, this be voice vote. And again, let me name those <coughs> three finalists again: Dr. Marlon King, <coughs> Dr. <coughs> Roderick Richmond, and Dr. Ron Woodard. Okay. okay. Kevin. Uh, Dr. King. Kevin, Dr. King. Wayne. Pass. Wayne, pass. Doris. Dr. King. <clears throat> Doris, Dr. King. Jim. Pass. Jim, pass. Carol. Dr. Marlon King. Carol, Dr. King. Janice. Dr. Marlon King. Janice, Dr. King. AJ. Pass. AJ, pass. Shannon. Dr. Roderick Richmond. Shannon, Dr. Roderick Richmond. And I vote for Dr. Marlon King. There's those numbers, Janice. I vote for Dr. Marlon King. Five votes for Dr. Marlon King. One vote for Dr. Roderick Richmond. Three pass. Three pass. Dr. King, majority vote. Thank you. Mr. 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 Chairman? Yes, sir. Uh, two quick comments. Yes, sir. First of all, I obviously have concerns about moving forward, but uh, I do respect the will of the board, and my intention would be to do everything possible to make Dr. King successful. Uh, to that point, my second comment. I would request that as a part of your uh, contract negotiations 
that you schedule a meeting with the entire board and Dr. King for the purpose of letting us all have a frank discussion on expectations, both Dr. King's expectations of the board and our expectations of Dr. King. And, and Mr. Chairman, I would yes, suggest that also you get with Dale and see after we've done that, if it's possible to incorporate those expectations into his contract. And I'm, I'm looking ahead at the possibility for a substantially different board next year. And I think if we did those things, we would go uh, a long ways towards uh, helping ensure Dr. King's longevity in this position. Uh, it's okay. Okay. I don't have a problem with that. Any other board uh, comments? I just agree with Jim. I, I think that is a very proactive way in order to um, counter the contract because we have to be very transparent, you know, and um, doing this uh, particular contract so that everyone would know uh, the expectations of the superintendent and, and the requirements thereof. So I just do agree with Jim. Yeah, thank you, Jim, for bringing that up because that is totally necessary. <laughs> totally. Okay, but Mr. Chairman, my, my only concern is that we've had tremendous turnover in this position historically. And I, again, I very respectfully request the board to consider this because I think it would go a long way towards towards his longevity in the position. I have reservations. Um, I guess I, I didn't hear anybody speaking, so I suppose I'm speaking uh, in turn. Is that correct? I have reservations. Go ahead, uh, Carol. You can... Yes, ahead. I, have, I have some reservations concerning that. Uh, I heard Jim say that he would like for the board members to sit down and have a have a just a, I guess a comfortable conversation with Mr. King, Dr. King, uh, letting him share with us his intentions and what we expect the system to look like in a certain number of years. I don't have a problem with that because we should have expectations of how we want our, our our system our school system to look but i think i i, I would kind of hesitate i do hesitate on on putting um in the contract i think i hear what uh jim is saying so i, I don't know if that would look more like our we were trying to micromanage him i i, I don't want to get into that no mr chair yeah, yes 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 okay. I, I appreciate Carol uh, asking for clarification because no, that was not my intent to have him out, outline what he thinks this district is going to look like. I'm just talking about basic expectations of the board superintendent relationships. Frankly, we've done this every every time with a new superintendent. What's different here is I'm suggesting we do it on the front end and incorporate it into his contract. Typically, we do this within a month of a new superintendent coming in. Uh, and it's uh, the, the TSBA uh, has a template for doing this, and they recommend doing it. My suggestion is only, the only thing different is, I suggest we do it on the front end, and if possible, let our chairman get with Dale to incorporate it so into the contract so that if we have a new board, if we have a substantially new board come in, that we have those expectations on both sides locked in. I, I, I'm going to tell you in all, in, in, in all sincerity, I'm just trying to do something to get some longevity into this position of the superintendent. But I, and, and Carol, yeah, I appreciate you asking for clarification. I'm not suggesting we ask him to come in and, 
outline what he's going to do and get that captured in a contract. I'm just talking about basic board superintendent relations and expectations and how we're going to work together. And, we, and again, we do it every, every we, we've done it every time. Mr. Yes. Chairman? Yes. Are you rec Mr. Chairman, are you recognizing me? Hey, hey Kevin, before, yes. before, you, before you speak, let me, let me go back, just backtrack. Okay. I want to make sure that uh, uh, before we start at the uh, vote, I want to make sure that we get a <clears throat> motion in a second that we um, formalize the election of the superintendent. What did you say, uh, Pete? I want to make sure we have a motion in a second that we actually formalize the vote for the superintendent. Mr. Chairman? For the, for the vote. Yes. I, I make the motion that uh, the, the board gives you the authority to negotiate a contract along with Dale with Dr. King. I second. That was before, Carolyn before, Dyers. Before we, before we act on, on that motion, uh, Kevin, we need a vote on the selection of the superintendent first. I'm we, confused, Pete. We, what, we what, did what do you mean? We did the vote. We did a. We actually actually had the uh, vote, but I, we didn't have a motion to <clears throat> proceed with the vote. Oh well, I make a motion that we proceed with the vote. I second. second. <laughs> we got a, a motion. Go by ahead, Shannon Pete. And second by Carol. Yes. Correct. Yes. What, what's the motion? I, I'm thoroughly confused. What's the motion? The motion is that we proceed with the vote for superintendent and to certify that we voted for Dr. Marlon King to be our superintendent. Exactly. That so that, that didn't happen? No, we voted. Okay, y'all let me speak go, real quick as the parliamentarian. And, and, and Pete, I was trying to get in. I couldn't get in. Um, we, we have to make a motion to approve his election as our superintendent. We each individually voted or passed and Dr. Marlon King was elected our superintendent. So after that, we have to make a motion saying we vote that <clears throat> we vote we make a motion that Dr. Marlon King be elected our superintendent, which we did by vote, but we have to formalize it by making a motion. Pete, am I saying that correctly? That's correct. Okay. I, I, I don't want to rebut with you. I don't recall <clears throat> having done that uh, before I did sit through one um, superintendent's election. I would election. like I to have... defer to Chairman Johnson and also Attorney Thomas on this. As the parliamentarian, I feel like this is proper procedure. Oh, well, I'm not. I'm not disputing that. I'm going to go ahead and second the motion. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, good. Okay. I, I'm still saying. I'm still saying this is very unfamiliar to me, as I sat through one selection or election of a superintendent before. So I just wanted to clear that up as well. So I mean, if we keep <clears throat> the ball rolling, I, I, um, I, I move that we do that. What second, right? We got a motion in a second. Dale, do we need to clear up anything else? And Pete, I, and I, just, just all right. I think what we did not do is there was not a motion on the floor when we voted, and what and that, we need is a motion on the floor. And that is my fault. I was trying to get in to speak, but I couldn't. I was trying to say that out loud that we so, need to make a motion to vote. So this this cures that issue. Okay. Yes. Okay. So move. Okay. Thank you. Well, that, actually, the uh, the motion I, actually, that Shannon made. I made and Miss Carol, you seconded it. Right. Yes, ma'am. All second. right. Okay. okay. Well, what's the vote? Kevin? Yes. Wayne? I guess as a formality, I'll stick with my pass. Doris? Yes. Jim? Yes. Carol? Yes. Janice? Yes. AJ? Yes. Shannon? Yes. I vote yes. Thank you for bringing that up. Back to uh, uh, Jim's uh, suggestion 
in the discussion. Uh, I think it's a uh, well, uh, well thought uh, process that we can uh, establish. And when he mentioned the fact that we want longevity, uh, I think that's important, um, not just for the school, but it's important to the system and our children, which is our number one priority, should always be our number one priority. So with that, uh, I'll arrange that unless someone disagrees. Uh, if we need to vote on that. Uh, we need a motion that I set up a meeting to we discuss that with the board, full board meeting with uh, Dr. King, so we can incorporate any expectations in the, his contract. Is that a motion? No, I'm asking, is that? I'll I, I make, I make the motion. <clears throat> Second. May I, Mr. Chairman, may I ask a clarifying question? Sure. I guess I just want to double check with Attorney Thomas the legality of us putting those expectations into his contract. I assume we, you know, can say we can. The issue is those expectations are actually outlined in our policies, as far as I know, what board expectations are, what board responsibilities are, what superintendent responsibilities are. And board and superintendent relations, you know, there's policy stating those things. I just wanted to make sure before we, you know, move forward with this and give you the authority to negotiate that with him, that that's even legal. Can we do that? I mean, I guess well, we could put whatever we want in the contract, but. That's right, Shannon. Yeah. Um, we have. So I guess, a, I guess, Pete, I just want to check with Dale on that. Let's do that, Dale. May I speak? Yes, Doris. <clears throat> Um, would, you know, I don't think that we are uh, authorized to put something unnecessarily on him or in the contract, but there is, and I don't know how many of you have taken it, we've taken from TSB uh, a board superintendent relationship. And so there are, as you said, policies that we could go by. And I think that would be the best thing for us to do. Mm -hmm. And I do have the uh, booklet, so if anyone would care to see it, uh, I'll share it. Mr. Chairman. Yes, Janice. Okay. If I may. Um, yes. I have to agree with Shannon with this because of the fact that uh, a contract is anything that's binding between uh, the board, the superintendent, or any other entity that you're having agreement with. And just because the policies are listed, you know, as policies does not mean that those particular policies, uh, well, I ain't going to say those policies or just an agreement having some of those um, policy requirements in the contract, <coughs> it does not make it void. Um, um, I remember very vividly on um, four superintendents. <laughs> it did something in similarity to this, and uh, and there was no problem at hand, and I don't see why there is a problem at this point in time. I feel like there is no micromanagement in regards to this, but what it does, it just uh, makes the contract clear and concise of the expectations of the board as well as the superintendent. Mr. Chairman? Yes, Jim. Uh, I, again, I want to be clear. There were two parts to what I was recommending. One okay. was to have the sit down. <clears throat> and, and we do that with every superintendent. The second part was to have you engage with Dale to explore the possibility of putting it in the contract. <laughs> it may or may not, to Shannon's point, it may or may not be practical. It may or may not be reasonable. <laughs> we'll say to the extent we can get something official that this is what our expectations are. I still say it goes a long way towards ensuring the new superintendent's longevity. But there were two parts to what I was suggesting. One was a sit down. The second was for you to work with Dale just to explore the possibility of putting it in the contract. May or may not work. Okay. Um. Do, I, or do we need a, uh, I think Kevin was uh, going to make a motion that, um, that move, we move forward. 
I move forward with the deal with the uh, the contract with uh, Dr. King. And with that, uh, I totally agree. I think we need um, a sit down um, full board um, and just um, talk about our system and some of the things that uh, uh, the questions we may want to ask him uh, as a new superintendent. So again, we get, I get a motion that um, I proceed uh, with the negotiations contract with Dale. So, so we didn't do this already? Well, I, I, Mr. Chairman? Yes. I, I think Jim's already got a motion and a second on the table, does he not? I think so. <clears throat> we, we've got to deal with that first, I believe, before no, we, we deal with my motion. No, it wasn't a motion and a second. Oh, Jim, no, 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 I, no we, we just discussed it. We just discussed I, I made, I made the, uh, we've, we've already voted on that one. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, my bad, I'm sorry, my, my mistake. Okay. Okay, can we get a uh, motion so I can proceed with Dale, the contract? Dr. Dr. So moved. Second. second. Who is the motion? Janice motioned. Uh, motion is Janice, second, Kevin? Yes. Okay, got a motion to second. Voice vote, Kevin? Yes. Wayne? Wait, we, we've got to go back because we did not vote on that other. There was no opportunity for discussion. That Kevin is correct. There was no vote on the previous motion and second. Because I, I really is... wanted to point out that uh, we can't sit down and meet with uh, Dr. King for a while now. I'm working 14 hours a day dealing with the, the consequences of people foolishly running off, traveling, meeting together. Uh, we did not have this discussion yet. We didn't have that vote. Kevin's correct. Why vote has not, hadn't who, who, ha happened yet. Who made, who made the motion? Who made the second? I didn't hear it. What, what, what was the motion and what was the second? What was the motion? Doesn't the secretary, can she tell you that? Yes. So then, but it wasn't a second. Okay. Good. And then we went to Janice making a motion for you to sit down with Dale. Okay. Did you uh, hear uh, Janice? Did she no, say, I did, didn't. I didn't hear her. Okay. Listen. Listen. What? Let me tell you what she said. Let me clear it up. She said she thinks Jim got confused and made a motion, but there was not a second. Well, I second it. Second, well, second, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we can't, we've already passed that. If there was a motion, but it was not a second. So we've already passed that. We already I had another uh, a conversation and a vote. So you can't go back, uh, Doris, to do that. Okay. 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 So the vote on the, the, the uh, motion on the floor is for me to uh, give me the opportunity. Uh, Vote with Dale on the contract with Dr. King. That's the motion and, and the second we have on the floor. I need a voice vote. Kevin? Yes. Wayne? I guess. Doris? <laughs> yes. Jim? Yes. Carol? Yes. Janice? Yes. AJ? Yes. Shannon? Shannon, can you hear me? Yes, for some reason, my microphone keeps going out. Okay, thank you. Motion approved. Motion carried. Thank you. <coughs> Next on the, on the agenda, uh, any committee reports? None. A superintendent's report. Mr. Well, Washington. yeah, thank you. I'd like to start off by just thanking a whole host of people uh, during this time, these last few weeks. Um, I got to start with Ms. Allison Pyron and the nutrition staff. Uh, we've served over 39,700 meals during this time, 
and the contribution of um, volunteers, both in-house through central office, schools, community partners, school board members have jumped in. Uh, really appreciate all that support. Um, couldn't do it without you. Um, RIFA and many other agencies, we, we, we meet weekly to accomplish this and make sure that we get in all aspects of the community that need to be gotten to. And we continue to update our, um, our locations and how we continue to try to service the community. Uh, Dr. Chandler in transportation has pitched in uh, with some bus stops and helping coordinate some of these community <coughs> meetings. And Ed and Dr. Williams has kept us up on some of the CDC standards and things that we, we need to be paying attention to. I know Dale, myself, and Dr. Green have had a lesson in labor law as we try to pay everybody that we can and take care of our people. And Dr. Markle and the academic team helped organize the uh, educational resources that we're trying to get out to our students, along with our principals, teachers, and other staff members. Ms. Thompson has kept us in line with our SPED students and special needs students to make sure we didn't get out of line. I really appreciate her input and help. And Holly Lizey and Rachel Lebo Scott uh, with keeping the communication channel open via our website, media releases, and all these other things. So I really appreciate all that. Our maintenance staff has been doing some worthy projects during this time, and so have our bus mechanics. I was at the bus garage earlier this week when we saw all kind of activity out there that may not have been able to take place if we were in school. So we are using that time wisely. Um, uh, Holly and Physical Services continues to keep us straight on how we got to spend money, and we wouldn't be here without the IT group. So thank you, Ashley, and your group for making all these arrangements to get us all connected um, as we continue uh, to get better at this process, which I think probably will continue, even though Ms. Janet doesn't want it to continue, it'll probably continue this way for a couple months. But anyway, thanks to everybody in the district participating in this effort. Um, I know many people in the community appreciate it. Of course, there'll be criticism by some who says it should be a done a different way, but we continue to map out and do things the best that we can with the resources that we have, all right? So that's really all I have tonight. Thanks to all of you for the board support during this time, this unusual time. And um, we just continue to march uh, until the until the end, whatever that, whenever, what, whenever and whatever that might look like. So thanks again to everyone. Thanks, uh, Superintendent Washington. Uh, next, let us, lady of contacts, if you have any of those, make sure you get those to uh, uh, Secretary uh, Janet. Um, you have a list of board information uh, on your agenda. Next, uh, John, can I get a, a motion to adjourn? So moved. So moved. <laughs> we got a motion in a second. I don't think we need a voice vote on that. Uh -huh. Probably not. Uh, All right. Thank you all. Okay. I want to do the same thing. Uh, uh, thank uh, Mr. Washington for leading us this, uh, up through this turbulent time. I want to thank JEA, West Tennessee, and our tech guys. And you never know how uh, much you need those guys until you get in situations like these. We appreciate it. Thank you, guys. All right, good evening. Good evening. All right.